Yes, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. All this excitement is for you. My name is Coach Wright. I'm the behavior coordinator here at Chapel Hill Junior High. And welcome to our school. Me and my friends are here today to walk you through our school, help you on your first day of school, coming in and out of the classroom and in the hallways, transition the right way. Are you ready to come in our school? Let's go! Here at the front office, our campus secretary and attendance clerk greet and serve our parents and visitors every day. If you have notes for attendance or you forgot something at home and your parents bring it to school, you will come here to get it. If you are to serve in school suspension, you will be dropped off here by 8.30 a.m. and picked up by your parents here at 3.30 p.m. Library. Our librarian and her aides can guide you to any subject you need to study. Browse through or just read for fun. When you enter the library, please be sure to use your student ID badge to sign in and out. You can, you can scan books to check out for up to two weeks. Our campus nurse is here to help with any major medical issues during the school day. The nurse will not see students in between classes and at lunchtime. To see the nurse, you must have a pass, date, and time stamped from your teacher. Remind your parents to fill out the medication form while registering you for school. Unless you have an inhaler, you will not be allowed to carry any medication while on campus. Our AP office is the hub of our commitment to maintain a safe and nourishing environment for learning here on our campus. Our counselors, campus register, and assistant principals are here to support all students and staff throughout the academic day. In the morning, if you have a dress code or badge infraction, you will report to the assistant principal's secretary for assistance. If you need to speak to a counselor, you can sign in with the counselor's secretary to be seen. You will also report here if you are tardy to class or have a have been assigned to campus community service. Excuse me, ma'am, you need to take off your hoodie and put your phone in your book bag because you're going to first period. Hurry up and make that happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your first Bulldog alert. Hoodies are not allowed to be worn at any point inside the hallways of the junior high. Also, phones need to be put in your book bag and turned off prior to reporting the first period. If you're caught with your phone out, you'll be take, it'll be taken up, and it'll be given to the AP office, and your parent will have to come up to the school and pay $15. So make sure your phones are off at all times. Let's go. This hallway houses reading, English, and math. The 200 hallway is separated by the square in the middle of our school. During the passing period, our hallways have one-way traffic to go around the square. Remember, you only have four minutes to get to your next class. Our 300 hallway houses history, Spanish, and AVID. This area leads to the 400 hallway and the cafeteria. Our 400 hallway houses the 8th grade science labs, technology, and speech classes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bulldog alert, people. Campus policy states that no outside food can be delivered on our campus. That includes food, flowers, and gifts. Also balloons. So. If you don't let your kid bring it to school, they cannot bring it and you cannot drop it off. All right, let's go. We use our cafeteria for many events besides feeding our students breakfast and lunch. From testing the cheer and dance practice, teacher workshops and parent meetings, this area is used year round. Our cafeteria staff serves, serves up some of the best food and biggest smiles in our district. While eating breakfast or lunch, students can sit up to five to the table. No standing or sharing food is allowed. Here we go, another Bulldog alert, people. On both sides of the square, bathrooms are labeled by gender and by grade. So make sure you go to the correct bathroom based on your grade level, all right? Also, our occupancy level for the bathrooms are three persons at a time. So be mindful when you go to the bathroom that people are waiting for you. Reminder, you still have four minutes to get to class. For, so going to the bathroom quickly is of the essence. Let's go. In our fine arts hallway, we have band, choir, and art classes that our students work in every day. This area is important in the development of our students, and we love the sounds and art that our students create on a daily basis. 
Boys Athletics meet in the Fieldhouse daily. Football, basketball, track, and off-season workouts are offered to our student athletes. Here in the bus loop, our district transportation team brings our students to school and takes them home every day. In the morning, bus riders who do not eat breakfast will sit in the gym until it's time to go to first period. This area is for parent drop off before 7.50 a.m. and the parent pick up after 3.50 p.m. This area is also used for students who have tutorials and after school detention for students who get dropped off in the morning will repeat or report to the cafeteria before first period. Our gym is home to boys and girls PE, Lady Bulldogs, Athletic, and Theater. Girls Athletics offer volleyball, basketball, track, and off-season workouts. We also use our gym for school assemblies throughout the year and practices for cheer and dance. Yes. On behalf of our entire school community, we'd like to thank you for watching our video. We cannot wait for you to step foot on our campus and become part of our family. Go Bulldogs! Let's go!